This is a very interesting, encouraging story. I was in the lift this morning, and there was precious Indians, precious coloreds, precious whites, precious Africans in the Rainbow Nation on Mandela Month, July 2024, South Africa, Johannesburg, Gauteng. While people are dying all over the world, Israel, Palestine, Russia and Ukraine, Africa, America, China, Taiwan, North Korea, South Korea, the list just goes on. People are dying of plane accidents, train accidents, uh, pedestrian accidents, there's all kinds of sickness and disease, cancers and you name it. People are dying of everything you can think of. And God said through King Solomon in Ecclesiastes, there's a time for everything under the sun. Time to be born and a time to die. But the encouragement of this teaching is that there's a time to die to self before we die on this earth. And that is to repent and get born again. To close my eyes and bow my head and pray and say, Jesus, I'm a sinner. I can't save myself. Please, I've been searching my whole life, asking questions in the back of my mind. But today, I've received the answer to my questions. I believe that you died for me on the cross, according to Isaiah 53. 2 to 12, you were led like a lamb to slaughter to pay for my sins so that I could believe with my heart, confess with my mouth that you did it for me and you rose from the dead on the third day and you've gone to prepare a place for me in heaven. And I believe that with all my heart. If you pray that prayer, and you were standing in the lift this morning with all those rainbow nations, colored, Indian, white, black, different types of people, and I said these words, some of us love Jesus today. Some will only choose to love Jesus tomorrow. And there are others in this lift. And as I said that, this husband and wife, the old Jewish family, blessed their darling hearts. They said, we'll never believe in Jesus. And I said, oh, please, I pray that he will reveal himself to you in your dreams Please don't believe all the false Jesus out there. There is a real one, and he's going to reveal himself to you. They were very sad. But one gentleman in the lift said, you don't have to fight with the man. Just agree to disagree and check, search into it. Maybe it's true. The other African lady in the lift said, oh, you made my day. I heard such beautiful news today. And the other person said, thank you for sharing the gospel with us. So I just pray that in the pension line this morning looking for some money for my precious mama. I realized the lady that was in front of me, she took my number. She wants me to send her Bible teaching about the Messiah. Because she said, how can the Jesus be the Messiah if he came 2,000 years ago and there's no peace in the world? I said, Jesus came of the suffering servant, um, Yosef. Joseph, he came as uh, the lamb. And he, he was killed for our sins and bring us peace, atonement, forgiveness, so that we can have blessing in our life now and that we can live holy lives, joyful lives, mourn with those who mourn and rejoice with those who rejoice and love our enemies. And one day the same Jesus is coming back again, but this time with judgment. What did we do with that peace? She was confused. I said, don't be confused. You've got two rabbis in a room. You heard the joke. You've got ten opinions. It's time to stop listening to the priests, the rabbis, the presidents, our parents, our friends. Go straight to the Word of God, the Tanakh. And the New Covenant Rabbi Shmuley said we must read. And Vicky Klevansky, our Katie Jewish Orphanage Park Town boy, said, Jesus was the best Jew ever to live. Let's learn from the true Jesus for blessings in every area of our lives. But most importantly, peace in our soul. And I said, that's what we have to read in the Bible, Daniel chapter 9, Isaiah 53. Read it for yourself and pray and ask God to show you the truth. And she said, okay, well, let's try. I said, Thank you, Father. I just lift up everybody that was in that lift, in the line, in the pension line, and everywhere else that people have been seeing this T-shirt. Thank you that your seed has been sown in the soil of their hearts. 
I pray that you send laborers across their path to water those seeds and that you bring them to peace in the Prince of Peace, Jesus Christ. I pray this in the wonderful name of Jesus. Amen and amen. <laughs>